In this video, I'll show you how to build a Cypress test suite. Thanks for watching Atomy Now. I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. In Cypress, we can't speak about test suites unless we talk about the describe function. As we can see here, the describe function is a way to group tests in Mocha.js. But wait, why are we speaking about Mocha? Isn't that a completely different framework than Cypress? Well, yes and no. While Mocha is a test framework in its own right, the Cypress team has decided to bundle it with Cypress. And this is where we're going to be referring to the Mocha describe function, among other functions, whenever we write our tests and test suites. We see here that the describe function takes in two arguments, one being the name of the test group and the other one being a callback function. Let's have a look at the next slide so we can see how we can build a test suite using the describe function. And what you see now is how we build a test suite in Cypress. Notice that we have this describe function being called here. This creates a test suite. And here we see the title of this test suite along with an anonymous callback function. Then we see this it function. This it function creates a new test. You will notice that this also consists of a title and a callback function. The title is used to describe what this test is going to do. And inside the test, we can see the commands that are going to be executed. In this case, we're using cy.visit. And this is the command that is used to visit any website in Cypress. In this case, we're telling Cypress to visit the automainow.io website. I would like to point out that this right here, cy.visit, is a Cypress command, while this describe and it functions are part of Mocha. Another thing to note is that we can have multiple tests inside of a suite. So inside of this describe function, we can have multiple if functions. Now let's have a look at some sample code. I've gone ahead and installed Cypress, and here I have Visual Studio Code, and I've opened that project where Cypress was installed. And Cypress comes bundled with predefined tests. I'll find those tests inside of the integration folder. And here we have some tests. I'm going to click on this first folder here and open the to-do spec. For the sake of this video, you can ignore this comment here, along with this first line over here. And I want to draw your attention to this line number 14 right here. Notice that the first thing that we see here is this function called describe. We see a title here. It says example to do app. And then we see an anonymous callback function. Now this describe is the function that we talked in the slides. It defines a test suite. And inside of this test suite, we find this before each. And before each is a test that is going to execute before any test. That is to say before each of these it functions. And this says, visit this website before each one of these tests runs. This is followed by this first test right here. This it functions defines a test. And here we can see what this test is going to do. Inside of the test, we're going to see the commands that are being executed. And this test is followed by this other test over here. So we have multiple tests inside of this test suite. And hopefully by now you have a better understanding on how test suites work in Cypress. If you would like to learn more about how Cypress works, check out the video card on the screen. In this video, I describe the Cypress folder structure in detail. If you have any questions, please don't forget to ask. I'll see you guys in the next video.